Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here, and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Uh, just sleeping through the night. Uh, I'm going to try playing today with uh, mouse and keyboard, just for giggles. Uh, just waiting for some more materials for this stage support. Let's collect these. Uh, I've got, uh, I've placed the wooden boards in there. I've got some bricks coming, no, not that one. These are all too close together, I think. Um, and it becomes an issue. Uh, let's make another seven bronze bars, if I've got them. No, Ooh, I can make a few. Cool. I'm making something. Am I just making one? No, I'm making seven. It'll take ten minutes. It's okay. Uh, and I need... A few more stone slates, and I obviously don't have the materials for it. I need three more. No, I want stone slate. I've got enough to make three. It says eight for station materials required stage support. What have I got? I need three. It's being a little bit derpy. Originally, it would just make the ones you needed. So it's going to be another three minutes. And so in ten minutes time, we should have everything we need to finish the stage support. Let's have a look what's in our letterbox here. The research center. Okay, we've got uh, blueprints for a drying rack. Require to learn how to make drying rack. Can be made with copper stick, copper screw, and assembly station. Cool. Uh, I knew you missed me. You can't live without seeing my face. Relationship with Nia, apparently. Right, I don't think there's any... No, there's no replies required to anything. Alrighty. So, again, you know, we're waiting for materials. Uh, my backpack is full. And let's just pop open the book here. Uh, some inventory is quite full indeed. Okay. We've done that, and now we're doing this. Ah, so there was a commission that I needed to uh, hand in eight bricks. Yes, two days left for that one. What do I need to make another furnace? Let me just retrieve these for the moment. Quite to make a furnace. Two stone trough, four quartz, and two wooden stick. Can I do this? Wooden sticks. Make a stone trough. Cool. And then some quartz. Okay, let's pick it up. Nice. And let's pop him down. Uh, number six. Yeah, not going to be able to fit that in there. Interact with this furnace. Awesome, and then I want to make I don't know. I'm gonna make eight over here. Okay. 
Awesome. So, picking up some bits and pieces, we've got uh, some uh, things we can level up. Nothing here. Not in workshop. We've got one point. Um, furniture. We'll do this one. That just gives us a uh, stat increase from furniture increased by 10%. always good to uh, level up so part of me wants to just do a bit of hunting and, and gathering but I don't think I've got the inventory space but yeah I still need a lot more materials and we still need to wait for those few Yeah, the bronze bars. So I might put a um, a cut in here, because otherwise I'm just sort of chilling and waiting while things get made. I'm going to use some energy up, collect a few things, and there are some like stronger boulders around here. This is a hard rock. I can now smash that because I've got the bronze pick. We got some marble and some bloodstone and some dew. Oh, there's there's lots of stuff around to pick up and collect and to work through what I can use it for. So yeah, I'll drop that cut in now and we'll, I'll wait a few minutes to get the uh, the items that are being crafted and I'll come back shortly. All right, we're back. I should have all I need now. Let's put the bronze bars in. There we go. Let's pick that up. Okay, cool. We've got that. And I'm just waiting for the last couple of bricks before I uh, go running off. So a quick look here. 15 bricks. It's cool. All right, let's head on over and plop the stage. Okay. Fancy seeing you here. Since we're both finished, let's put the stage back in business. Ta-da! <laughs> this looks great! You know what? It feels so nice to work with a really good builder like you. Can't wait for more projects! Well, guess we're done! All that's left to do is inform our good minister Matilda of our good deed. Anyway, do you mind doing the honors and telling her we've finished? I've gotten really behind on my commissions. Thanks! Yep, same. I think I hand in this commission. Well, I think I hand it in here though. Or do I go and give it to the person? Alright. Very slowly work through how to make things, alright? Let's actually work out where I need to go. Mission. Deliver it to Heidi. If you're in medicine, right, 
We'll just set up. Hello. Okay. There it is, the face of evil. Gaze upon it and no fear. Do you know who that is, don't you? Aha! Good, you've been paying attention, skinny arms. Back to it. Last time all the posters blew away, so this time I've made sure to make them extra sticky. So since you're here, skinny, why don't you help me paste some of these posters around town? Sure. Oh, you remembered my official name. Here, take these. Just come find me when you're done. Okay. Guess I'll just follow these little questiony mark things. There we go. I like to clean out the mess. Okay, there's something down here I need to do. See this man didn't engage, report immediately to the civil court. Cool. 100,000 goals. Not a bad amount to uh, collect, if I know where the guy is, anyway. Uh, let's continue running around. Heidi, I need to talk to Heidi. Hello. Hello. Easy commission. Hmm. Cool. And then we need to go in here and tell the mayor, or whatever she is, about the stage. You've rebuilt the stage? Well, aren't you two just precious? <laughs> that was quick. On behalf of everyone in Sandrock who enjoys a good hoedown, thank you very much for your service. Since Mason's in a hurry to get out of town, let's just hold his farewell party tomorrow morning. I'm sure I can get everyone together, even on such short notice. You won't miss it, right? I'll be there with bells on. That's grand. See you tomorrow, then. Okay, so I need to pick up whatever this thing is. Now, uh, what can I drop? What don't I need? Let's do that. Desert Defender shirt. I've got a Bacchus t shirt, which is plus 29 defense and plus 6 stamina and 1. Uh, sorry. 1 toughness. I was just given. I think, um, I think it's better. Post these other couple of posters and then potentially sleep. But run all the way down here. can't go in there apparently hi you're the new builder i'm unsure second or third in command in the civil corps i'm not really sure 
Apparently. We keep the peace around here because if we didn't, things would be a lot less peaceful. Sheriff told me I have to watch this door and make sure no crazy robots get out of the Paradise Lost hazardous ruins here behind me. Paradise Lost used to be a shopping mall in the old world, but after the day of calamity, all the robots went crazy. Or was it before? I don't know. I was never good at history. Oh, you want to go in here? I thought you just wanted to chat with me. Well, the lock on this door here is broken, and Justice told me not to let anyone in or out until it's fit. Yeah, probably. The door kind of looks fine to me, but I gotta follow orders. Sheriff Justice has got to get an official commission through the city hall. That's just how it is, I guess. So until Justice does the paperwork, I'm sorry to say I can't help you. Well, that's just peachy. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a commission soon to fix it, but who knows how long that could be. If I were you, I'd just do other things for a while. I'm sure we'll reopen Paradise Lost when the time is right. I mean, probably. Well, good luck. Hope you're enjoying Sandrock. I think I am. Just post up the poster then. Oh, talk to Pen. Maybe I'll do that after tomorrow's thing. So we'll go and sleep. Probably need to see if I've got anything that can be processed. No scrap. Oh. Come on. All right, let's have a sleep. ceremony marks a bittersweet occasion. One of the finest darn builders to ever grace this humble town will be leaving all of us. But he's off to a well-earned retirement. A few words, Mason? <laughs> it appears our dear Mason is overwhelmed with emotion. Come on, folks, lighten up. A toast, then to Mason and to new beginnings for the future of Sandrock. That was uh, pretty average. Talk to Hello. Vivi here. Uh -huh. It's lovely to hear him. I know it can be a tough place, but I'm glad you can see the good in the people here, even if you get a little rough around the edges. Met Mort, he's been in Sandrock as long as anyone, lives down in the graveyard watching over the lost. We all love him, but he makes a habit of asking for nothing, even if he needs it. I usually bring him some snacks and food to keep him going, but my hands are full at the moment. Am I giving it all? Yep, yeah, sure. Salted fish, but to make him you'll be needing a drawing rack. Yep, yeah, well. Cool. Okay, so that's what we need the drawing rack for. Cool, so Mort just wants food. And I need to work out what I'm doing here. Okay. Don't think there's anything I can actually draw. Food scraps. Cool. Somehow this doesn't feel like a party. Come on, y'all. The, the music's great. Let's have some fun. We can worry about the town's prospects later. Why, yes, Owen. There's no need to worry about our prospects. 
as we have no prospects to worry about. Hey, Gramps, you're killing the vibe, man. What's with all the doom and gloom? Xanrock is only up and up, you hear? Soon, everything's gonna be smooth sailing. I truly believe it. Justice is right. We have a lot to look forward to. Two new builders, Trudy's close to a breakthrough. Everything will be all right for Sandrock. Okay. Hey there, builder. Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? Oh. Sure. Well, why not? I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. To a newcomer, Sand Rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you like to know about? Ah, the civil core here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala desert. But they only have two core members here, uh, plus <laughs> a cat. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Pen from the church helps out as well. Now the one running the civil core is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. This is not true. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock. Especially the old folk and the youngins. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, creeks have water, don't they? What would you like to know about? Ah, yes. There is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. Uh, he used to be a citizen of our town as well. Uh, one day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. I believe so. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? Uh, I think that's all for <laughs> yep. me, right? uh, Don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. Oh, today was nice. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know?
Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order? Get the special of the day. That's right, we've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I uh, hope to see you again soon. My inventory's been full for a while. Oh, I missed out on the food, though. Okay, so this wants me to talk to Pen and make some salted fish once I make my um, drawing rack. As a pen is up here. He might have been in the building there, but I've got a feeling he's. Yeah, there he is. Uh huh. Do I need something? Skinny, uh -huh. let's just... Well done, Skinny. You've done another fine deed for Sandrock. With those posters up, everyone will be even more aware of the infamous bandit. Okay, some new shoes. Um. Just abandon this. I'm spending too much money on spots. Seaside casual shoes. Did I not have shoes on before? Apparently not. Cool. Let's run. Yeah, we're gonna run back and see if we can make the um, the drawing rack. I don't believe I have everything I... Well, maybe I do. Run, run, run. I've got mail. And some more wooden boards. Bronze bars, stone slabs. Well, that's not what I want. Not the stage support I want. Drawing rack. I need some copper screws. Yeah, need some copper bars. Underway. Two minutes. A letter from Ma. Got a telegraph from the Atara Post Office saying that the designs of my quilts looked a lot like the Dubos code language. Can you believe that? I don't know anything about. Duvos, Duvos, whatever, except that they're a bunch of poo bars. So they held the quilts and sent people to come ask a bunch of questions here. Luckily, the High Wind Authority stepped in and vouched for me. Quilts should be on the way now. What a headache. Oh. Is that it? Make some space. Ugh, storage box is full. Can I take you, but put, like, a couple of these things away? I'll take the copper ore. Yeah, not sure. Now, can I cook food in this? I 
Doesn't seem like it. Is that you? So we're just waiting another couple of minutes, so I'll put the cut in and I'll wait for the copper bars to be produced and probably the screws actually, so I'll be back once that is done. Okie dokie. There goes the copper screws. I should have what I need now to make a drying rack if I pick that up. Uh, I should need to be able to build it. Things a little small. Cool. So that's the fish being hooked uh, up. That's only three minutes, but um, I am at the wrapping up point, so I am going to uh, say goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed the episode and want to look into the game yourself. Follow the links below. Until next time, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.